What's up, everybody? It's your man, Russell Mitchell, the homesick Buckeye. I know you're here to see the Reverend, and he'll be in, in here in a minute to do his thing, but before the Reverend gets here, I just wanted to say a few words from my heart. Um, this video is in memory of and in tribute to our friend, our brother, Jeff DeProsperous, who recently lost um, a battle with cancer. Uh, I was fortunate enough to meet Jeff and lucky enough to meet Jeff through Healing Humanity, Carrie Mann Jr. and Adam Lacey. They were filming him for the uh, upcoming documentary, and he mentioned to them uh, that he was a fan of me and my channel and the Reverend, and um, they arranged for us to meet. And he was so excited. And he came on my show and told me something that really touched me and really moved me. Um, that when he was having bad days or chemo was rough, he would get his boys and they would sit there and watch the Reverend videos and they would just laugh. They would laugh and it would take their mind off of things. And they really appreciated it. And as he was telling me the story, um, my eyes were just starting to well up with tears. and. I was just so moved that someone who's fighting for their life with weeks to live uh, would, 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 would gather around with their family and watch me act a fool on this internet. It just, it just, I, I was so humbled and just so grateful and thankful that I could be a blessing to him. And I didn't want to cry because, man, I cry ugly. You don't want to see that. Oof, oof. No, no, no. So, he asked me to do a little bit of the Reverend for him, and I said, you know, I can't, I can't do that. But the next video I make, the next Reverend video, it's going to be for you and your family. How about that? And uh, he was so excited. He said, oh, that'd be great, man. I love that. I can't wait. I can't wait. Well, as life would have it, several months would go by. Had some personal problems, some personal struggles, and didn't make any Reverend videos. and. I think it's been almost a year. I wouldn't swear to that, but it's been quite a while since I made another Reverend video. And when I got the news from Carrie about his passing, it just hit me like a ton of bricks that I never made that video for him. But then I thought about it. I said, you know what? I promised him the next video I made for the Reverend would be for him and his family. And I haven't made one, so I can still keep my word to him. And that's what I'm doing. I should have done this a long time ago, but, didn't, but I'm doing it now. And I'm grateful and thankful that I met him. I'm grateful and thankful that he shared his story with me and shared that with me. And um, I'm grateful and thankful that I'm able to keep my word to him. And and this video is for him. And I just want to say when you're when you're doing these 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 things and you're on these YouTube and and whatnot, you never know who you're going to touch, who you're going to reach. If you're thinking about doing it and you haven't done it, do it. Do it today. You never know who's watching. You never know whose life you can touch. I mean, I just can't imagine, <laughs> you know, um, just uh, the feelings uh, that that uh, that he had and um, fighting for his life with this time. But I was able to be a small part of bringing him some some joy and peace. And that's what I'm all about, man. Y'all know me. I try to bring the funny with me everywhere I go. And like I said, I wish I'd have done it before I didn't, but I'm doing it now. I hope you like it. I hope the family likes it. And Jeff, my man, you rest in peace, brother. I'll see you on the other side. Yes, yes. Ketogenic peace and blessings to everyone. I am the Reverend I.B. Low Carbon here with you today. And folks, I've been away, gone, gone too long, but I'm back. I'm strong, filled with ketogenic power. Yes, I was low, family. I am not immune to the wily tricks of the enemy. I am but a man. And sometimes your reverend gets weak and gets trapped in a snare, but I'm out of that snare. But I was low, lower than the prophet Chafee's A1C, lower than the prophet Barry's glucose, lower than Adam Lacey's IQ, family, that's low. I was low, but I'm back up high now, filled with ketogenic power here with a message from my ketogenic people around the world. Family, there is nothing more precious, and this has been on my heart, nothing more precious than our children. Our children are the next generation to fight this 
wicked enemy. We're in a sugar sick world. We're in a world where folks are drowning in a sea of pudding and custard. They're trapped in pancake prisons and down in donut dungeon. They're in, in cupcake corrections everywhere in this nation, sickness and disease on every hand. But we know that we have this ketogenic message that can heal the land. And our children are such an important part of that. Family, we must protect our children, bring them up in the ketogenic way. I believe that children are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. And when I think of young ketogenic warriors and ketogenic family, I can think of none finer than Jeff the Prosperous, our deacon Jeff, with Mother Martha, teaching young Peter and young Dante the ketogenic ways, teaching them, bringing them up in the ways of ketogenic living, making sure they're healthy and strong, making sure they don't have brain fog, making sure they can sit still at school and learn something without that sugar water coursing through their veins, bouncing off the walls like sugar-filled hellions. They can sit still and learn something because they're powered by protein and fueled by fat. They don't wake up in the morning and get pastries and donuts. They don't need Kellogg's and Hostess. They don't need bagels and toasts. They need fat and protein that'll get them to ketosis. Can I get a witness today? Telling them to go to school with pride. Hold your head up high. Tell those other kids, we're not like everyone. We don't eat pizza. We don't eat tater tots. We eat protein. We eat fat. We don't drink Sunny Delight. We don't drink Coke and Sprite. Protein and fats, that's where it's at. Sweet tea in our cup, that ain't what's up. Young Peter and young Dante have been taught by Mother Martha and Deacon Jeff not to fall for the lies of the wily enemy. They know that Snickers can't satisfy them. Satisfaction only comes from protein and fat. They're powered by protein, fueled by fat. They've been taught that there is no greatness in a frosted flake. It's nothing but death and destruction. Rice Krispies and Wheaties will lead to diabetes. Sugar and grain will destroy your brain. Young Peter and young Dante have been brought up in the ketogenic way. They know they are powered by protein. They're fueled by fat. They will not be moved and not be distracted by the clarion call of the sugar demon. They will not fall victim to death and destruction handed to them through drive through windows uh, uh, from sea to shining sea. They will not have it. The enemy is a liar, and he plays tricks on our children. There is no butter in a butterfinger, and how dare they defile our sacred butter by putting it on the label of that sugary death stick. Oh, I rebuke them in the name of ketosis. I spit it out. Spit it out. Tell them to taste the rainbow. You can't taste the rainbow. There's no rainbow in those multicolored sugar death pills. I spit them out. Ice cream, cupcakes. That food is poison. <laughs> Teach them. Tell them. They want to be healthy from their head to their legs. Fry them some bacon and scramble some eggs. Can I get a witness today? Oh, I need a witness in this place. Our children don't have ADHD because they eat M-E-A-T. We don't need medication for our kids to get an education. We must raise this next generation to tell the world with no hesitation, we got a message that'll heal this nation. Come on, somebody. Yes. I'm here to tell you that young Peter and young Dante will fight this fight like our deacon Jeff and Mother Martha. They will not be weak. They will carry on with ketogenic power. They will be prosperous because they are the prosperous. You can't spell the prosperous without prosperous in the name. Can I get a witness today? Our future is in great hands with young Peter and young Dante and many other young ketogenic warriors that are leading the charge, leading the fight against this sugar demon that's possessing so many in our land. Our future is bright as young Peter and Dante, trained by Mother Martha and Deacon Jeff, are shining their light 
shining a beacon of light so that lost sugar sick soul can find his way home and family i want you to join with me deacon jeff mother martha young peter and dante as we take this message to every mountain high every valley low to the city and to the field, from sea to shining sea. It's a life-saving, life-changing message that we must tell everyone. Keto saves, keto saves. Tell the world, keto saves. Amen and amen. <laughs>